Tron Air, the most trusted name in aircraft ground support equipment. Hi, welcome to Product Support Group. Today I will be going through rebuilding a hand pump on an 8842 45-ton axle jack. We've already have our hand pump dismounted from the jack itself, so we're going to begin by removing all the pins and fulcrum mounts. We're going to place our unit in the vise using rubber pads so not to damage surface areas. Once you have your hand pump pistons removed, clean out your surface areas, remove your gaskets and steel balls. On the bottom side of the hand pump, remove both pump return screws. I'm going to remove the gaskets from each one of these as well. Remove the spring and the stainless steel ball inside of each port. At this point, it's good to visually inspect all seating areas for your steel balls for any defects. For both the top and the bottom of the pump. Now we can begin by reinstalling the two bottom plugs, your new seals. Insert your new steel balls. Install your new springs and replace the plugs. Now moving to the top side of the pump. One last inspection. Install both steel balls. Your new gaskets. And that is ready for the hand pump pistons. So on these updated hand pump, Malabar hand pump pistons, it is a backup ring, O-ring, backup ring setup. So you want to install your first backup ring into the groove of the piston chamber first. Make sure the seating is flush as possible. Install your new O-ring. Sitting on top of the backup ring you just installed. And lastly, install the second backup ring that sits on top of that O-ring. can be a little tricky. Once you have all three installed, you can install your new wiper ring. And that is what it looks like completely installed.
move on to the smaller high pressure pump. It's the same orientation for your high pressure pump, backup ring, O-ring, backup ring. So this is a little bit smaller. I use a tool, a pick, basically to follow the backup ring into its channel. It's the same concept as the low pressure, bigger one. Make sure it's all the way down in there. Install your O-ring in the same manner, sitting on top of that backup ring. And then lastly, make sure you install your second backup ring on top of your O-ring. This one can be a little tricky. And lastly, install your wiper for this one. You have it pressed in there as far as you can get it. You can use your pick to kind of guide it into the groove it sits in. Once that is in, take our pistons, lube them up a little bit, and slide it in place. Both units. Lube up your piston a little bit slide it into place. You want to make sure you're not damaging or removing any of the backup rings when you're doing this. Now we're going to prepare the threads for reinstallment into the pump block. Make sure they are clean. We use our Loctite 567 to seal these. After applying a thin layer of your 567, thread it down in there until it's hand tight, and then we will crank, crank it down with a wrench. Do the same thing for the high pressure pump. Install our fulcrums and pins now. Okay, once the fulcrums are back in place, we're going to remove these three seals here and replace them with new ones. Bring our surface area up a little bit. We'll use our Parker O-ring lube on these as well. Before we reinstall the hand pump onto the jack itself, we're going to want to replace the screens in the jack. So we'll remove those right now. Flathead screwdriver, spin them both out. Install your new ones. These have to sit inside of the pump face, the block, otherwise they'll make contact with the jack and it won't seal properly, so make sure of that. Once we are ready to reinstall our pump 
Take all three bolts. Starting with the top one first, begin to thread into the face of the block to hold the pump in place. Like that. want to make sure that these are nice and tight so those seals inside are actually sealed or compressed. That is changing the seal kit out on a hand pump for an 8842 Malabar Axle Jack. For more information, contact product support at tronair.com or call 419-866-6301.